Hey coach, what's up? And welcome back to our YouTube channel here. If this is the first time watching one of my videos, make sure and hit that subscribe button and comment below if you have any questions for me. Now in today's video, I wanted to talk about how you can maintain relationships with the clients that you train. To me, this is extremely important and I really sucked at this at the beginning of my business and took me a couple of years to figure out how I could better maintain relationships, how I could build better relationships with the families and the players that I train. And to me, I feel like this is something, it, it sounds like common sense, but I know most coaches don't do this. This is why I'm creating this video. And if you think about on your end, the clients that you train right now, okay? If you're training, let's say you're training 10 clients, I would want you to make sure that those 10 clients that you're training, you are building relationships with their parents, you are obviously building relationships with their kid because you're training them. But if you have a good relationship with them, if you have a, a lot of influence over them, if you are consistently asking them for referrals, if you are doing a good job, if, if you are uh, proving good results and providing the results with the players that you train, to me, exponentially you're going to be able to grow your business but it's all going to be really it's all going to boil down to the relationship that you have with your clients and again i know for me when i personally started my business i would just show up to the session i would talk to the kid but i wouldn't talk to the parents the parents never knew me on a personal level which was a problem if they knew me on a personal level and i got to actually talk to them more and i spoke to them more i engaged with them more those kids would have stayed in my program probably longer. All right, and what I'm about to say, it would have also worked too. But if you think about the lifespan of the kids that you train, let's say they train with you for a year. Um, most coaches, that's not the case. I know most coaches, they do th four sessions or 12 sessions, but let's say they stayed with you for a year. Okay, if they stay with you for a year, this means that you've seen them probably once a week, you've gotten to know their parents, and let's say they stop training with you. If they stop training with you, that doesn't mean that they're never gonna train with you again. That just means they might need a break. Uh, maybe they are too busy. They don't have enough time to commit to your program anymore. Whatever the excuse or the scenario is, it doesn't matter to me. But what we need is to always be in front of them. Always be talking to the parents. Always be reminding them about your program. Always be asking them to refer others to your program. And this can all be done with two methods, either a simple text message or you have an email newsletter that's set up where you're constantly giving value, you're showing them what the next steps are, you're showing them to refer others to your program. And this is the, this is the I think the gold of this business is when you have clients who've gotten results with you and they're no longer part of your program, they will vouch for you if they know that you want clients if they know that you wanna help more kids, but the only way they're gonna know that is if you ask and if you constantly remind them. That's the part where most coaches, uh, they don't take action on that. They just think, well, they're not in my program anymore, so I'm not gonna train them ever again, so I'm probably never gonna see them again. That to me is false. Because if you stay in front of them, if you're texting those parents, even a quick text like, hey, how's Johnny doing this season? Or hey, when is, when does he play over the next couple of weeks? I might wanna come watch him play. Or, hey, how are you guys doing as a family? Something like that gets you in front of those parents all of the time, and that's really your responsibility. And so the way that you can maintain these relationships is by continuously staying in contact with them when they're not part of your program anymore. That, to me, is going to be the way they can either come back in or they can refer others that they know to come into your program, but that, is an area that you have to improve on, okay? If you wanna learn more about how to get your business to that next level, all right, do two things. You can text me at this number right here. This way you can instantly get in contact with me. If that's you, just shoot me a text. Or you can go up here and click on this button that takes you to our information page of our mastermind program. And from there, that will prompt you to set up a phone call with me if you're serious, all right? But if you wanna chat, if you have a couple of quick questions, Text me right here and we'll take it from there. All right, I'll see you later.